Yes, there it is. There she is, the beautiful high velocity 2023 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon 4 by e plug-in hybrid. That is the see it from space color. It does. It is. It, it was. It is a very beautiful color. Um, you know, it, it literally is a, a tinge of a lime to it, but ever so subtle when you walk mm. it, walk up to it. It's very high letter yellow, but it grew on me as the week uh, went on. Um, for those of you that aren't familiar, this is an off-road rally, the Rebel Rally. It's about fourteen to fifteen hundred miles, mainly all off-road. It's all women, um, typically about fifty to fifty-two teams. Um, and I was one of the few um, electrified vehicles uh, that did this competition. This is my third year competing uh, this year on behalf of Jeep. And uh, we were a team in Norwester. There's my lovely navigator. I was the driver for the competition. The, the gal on the left is Emily Winslow. She's out of Seattle area in Washington. And uh, yeah, it was a bone stock uh, a vehicle. We did, uh, we did pretty well. So um, there it is getting plugged in and uh, there, yeah, there, that light, you can see a little bit more of a tinge of green on it, but a brand new color, colorway for the uh, 2023 uh, 4xE electric, electrified vehicle. So. Okay. So the first question here is, was the approach to enter with an electrified vehicle, like, is there a specific class for anything that has a hybrid ish powertrain? Or did, it is, it did is. Jeep... And it is, and that, that photo, you might want to just hang out of that photo for a little Hold while. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that needs explanation. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> um, seen some shit. It, 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 it's seen some stuff, yes, it has. Um, that, that photo is worth about um, more than a thousand words, but uh, well, I'll get to that in just a second. <laughs> so, yeah, a couple years ago, um, so the rally had instituted uh, what is called the electrified designation. Um, so it allows electrified vehicles, so it could be anything from a fully electric vehicle, so all electric with no gasoline, mm -hmm. um, you know, assistance, to a plug-in hybrid, to even a regular hybrid, which is interesting. So non-plug-in hybrid vehicle can also be part of this. So mm -hmm. it'll be interesting to see if that designation actually changes or not, if it's just only EVs or not. Um, this is interesting because my team, so Emily and myself, separately we competed in ICE vehicles, so internal combustion engine vehicles, um, as separate teams in 2018. Then I was media in 2019, where she competed in a separate team as, with another ICE vehicle. And then we partnered with uh, Volkswagen of America with the first ever all electric, all electric uh, VW ID4, which is an all electric crossover. Remember that? And so we made history doing that mm -hmm. last year in 2021. And then we did a plug-in hybrid, um, which of course was with Jeep. So we, uh, to my knowledge, were the only team to do all of those three different types of powertrains. Hmm. So it's interesting because it's as cool. that all evolves, we need to kind of figure out as the technology evolves and the charging infrastructure or the lack thereof, because it's hmm. kind of a rolling temporary thing as you go throughout the desert, how that ends up working and if the destination will change or morph along with it. So... It'll be right. interesting to see how that goes. Did you experience any difficulties, intricacies, or anything otherwise uh, due to the electrified nature of the Jeep versus the straight electric of the ID4 or prior ICE cars? Yeah, it 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 was a whole different ballgame. Um, so you were just saying using other people's uh, vehicles for rallies. Um, a lot. I, I use a lot of other people's vehicles for rallies, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> it's a, um, that's a good problem to have. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, you know, I've used our own Pajero ones um, as, and, a as a navigator in the 2020 um, Alcan 5000 rally, which I did with Andy here um, as a driver. Um, in 2018, I rallied my then partner's husband's work and um, personal truck. It was a 2012 Toyota uh, Tacoma. Um, uh, uh, right off. The truck with manual transmission. No pressure there. Right. It's fully customized, um, you know, gutless V6, but it still ran. Um, brand new clutch because the old clutch gave out during a glamorous practice. Ah. Um, ah. But it was a good At truck. least it was practice. It, yeah, it was right. practice, yeah, it was practice when the old clutch gave out. Yes, so we had a brand new clutch that I was uh, babying during um, during an actual rally. Um, but that was uh, the ICE vehicle. And then with the VW, it was all electric. And it was an all-wheel drive um, derivative. Yeah, exactly. So that was, um, and it was a great truck. It was a, it was a um, fantastic truck. It was um, wonderfully dialed in. Um, 
And so in 2021, when we did the BWID4, it was uh, the very first time that the all-wheel drive derivative of it came out. So I, they sent me over to the East Coast to um, test drive just the stock all-wheel drive derivative. The rear-wheel drive was uh, had earlier come out, and the all-wheel drive variant had just come out three weeks hmm. before the rally had hit. And oh, wow. so they took literally the uh, rear, I'm sorry, the all-wheel drive, one of them from that media event, and then shipped it over to Reesmill and Racing on the West Coast and said, okay, we want to do just a couple of quintessentially important but minimal upgrades to it, kept it at stock height, which was 6.7 mm-hmm. inches above the ground, sands the um, full body skid yeah. plate. Very low. Very, that very, is, very low. That is not, 6.7 is like, Very, very low, but yeah, like they, regular and that was, sedan height. <laughs> it was sedan height, but uh, that was um, also, they had, that was sands a skid plate too that they put under body as well. So that was minus that too. So we're maybe a, just a tidge above six and a half. Um, and with that, they didn't really do or had the chance to really do any testing with what does it do off road in this type of condition um, with the range. And so You're the guinea pigs, we were the guinea pigs. Yeah. So, I mean, so Tanner Faust um, did a fully kitted out. Um, you're, I'm, you're, you're shaking your heads already. The Nora rig. We had him on the show. <laughs> did you really? Oh, awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And I had a chance to uh, work with us for a couple hours with that rig, uh, with some pre-testing a few hours before, I think it was like a day or two before, um, we had a chance to be at the start line with the this actual rally rig. And he helped us kind of do the actual hmm. driving, you know, off-road with it, some of the tips and tricks that he learned with, with the Nora rig and translate that into the all-wheel drive derivative. So it was really cool just to meet him and just get some pointers and just be like, there's Tanner. He's teaching me how to drive. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it was pretty not, cool. Not a um, bad teacher. It, not a bad teacher at all. Um, for us, we didn't know how it was going to react in heat. We didn't really know how it was going to react with total range, you know, we, with extreme terrain. A lot of it would be rocks, some silt, mm. a lot of sand. Um, loose terrain off camber, you know, just single track. How, how would it be? Would it use up, you know, four how kilometers does of range? Traction control fare and all those conditions with well, like, we light modifications. Of, we oh. disabled a lot of that because we wanted to make sure that it wasn't safety systems trying to stop you from needing to bump it up yeah. over <laughs> if you needed to. Bog, 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 bog. Yeah. 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 So, so there was a lot of learning on the fly. Um, and Emily Winslow, my navigator, did a phenomenal job, just really. You know, understanding, okay, just kind of game game planning what she thought. That there she is going, yeah, I found a checkpoint. <laughs> Go back. She's uh, in the foreground. She's hilarious. I love her to death. Love you, Emily. Um, but uh, she, she constantly rechecked. She checked my range. She checked her math and told me to just kind of lay up a little bit ease up a bit go a little bit faster she she and we were very 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 conservative we never needed to tow out we probably were too conservative and and bowed out of the planned route and kind of came back in and went out and in and out and in versus what you probably should have done to make sure we were were not going to lose because you couldn't you couldn't really like lose your range and all of a sudden go oh i'm dead need to tow off a single track small by problem. You know, <laughs> you, you can't put the semi up there and get a charge, you know. Um, so, but we made it work. So, we never needed a charge, never had any mechanical issues, and it never, you know, it did great. And the Jeep, the Jeep is great. I mean, you know, you basically plug it in. We ran it in all EV mode um, when it was just low range. I needed full concentration on very tough terrain. Otherwise, we ran it in hybrid. Hmm. Interesting. It's fantastic. That's pretty cool. Yeah. It, so you learned a, as you go. Basically, we learned as we went along, and each vehicle was completely different. So that was hmm. a very long answer to your question. But <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're here for. Yeah, we're like an hour to talk I know. I know. I yeah. Know. <laughs> no. 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 That's that's good, and it's a totally different. I mean, we've had we're like quietly becoming the unofficial podcast of the Rebel Rally. It seems, and this is a very different side of things because we've had all electric we've had you know normal ice and now this is very it's a different take and the plug-in you know, hybrid the plug yeah everybody has a different experience too and and here oh yeah another side is also always great i could talk about just that as far as ice plug-in and all electric <laughs> for at least an hour 
that bit alone because it's so different. I've heard it <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we'll put a show on the books to to discuss that. So. Yeah.